Hey, how's it going, guys? Just, uh, thought I'd show you what's been going on with the van. It's been a lot of action, several days of work, and got a good load in there, so let me show you what's going on. It's pretty cool, in my opinion. Let me show you what's up. Pretty much laid down the flooring. Check it out. Got a little sun flare on there. Let's see if I can cover that. Nope, I can't. Maybe it's thing I'll cover it up. Oh, whatever. Okay, well we got some sun here. But anyways, here's my flooring right now, how I have it. And uh, it's two pieces. Um, just got a, a big piece of plywood at the uh, Home Depot. And I uh, couldn't find any uh, repurposed wood for this big of a job. It's really unfortunate. Trying to use as much recycled and uh, you know, upcycling as possible during this project. But um, I built this lid right here. Um, so this well that used to hold the seat, you know, now is just um, a deep, uh, a deep well slash uh, storage area. And uh, I made this custom lid with a bunch of maps from all over the world. And uh, all recycled maps that I got at a garage sale, uh, glued them on there and used layers of uh, shellac that gives it that amber look and um, puts a like a glossy uh, hard coating over the top of it so it'll hold up hopefully. Um, used recycled leather here, um, cut to use as hinges, and um, all the wood um, holding the frame up is uh, recycled wood. Um, recycled 2x4s and stuff from old projects and um, let's see I got um, wood all underneath all this frame here I can show you guys from the side so underneath here is all the support and whatnot it goes all the way back there's just little beams all along it um, to hold it up in different spots um, you know you can see it sticking out here that's all old recycled wood and stuff that we had laying around and so just salvaged that and used it and uh, here's a couple of storage units that I built that lift up like this and so I have underground storage because the flooring was so unlevel that I didn't want to lose any of this uh, area underneath here you know I had so much um, area underneath that I can really work with and um, so I decided to build cabinets on top and so I can store stuff down underneath here and you know here's some more of those support beams and stuff holding all this up and uh, it comes out pretty easily you know got a lot of sawdust build up in here this one too same thing lifts up and has a bunch of storage underneath as well and I can reach kinda underneath there and whatnot too plus I can access it from the doors you know from the side on both sides I can going through that side and access the bottom area. So that's that. Um, pretty great. Uh, let's see what else I got. Oh, I did the windows. It's kind of hard to see. I put the windows, I put maps on the outside of the windows. Well, on the inside, but it shows to the outside. So here's map here. And then on the inside, it's corkboard. So this is all corkboard that I, that I mounted on the inside. Instead of using blackouts or something, I just uh, use something that I can actually uh, put stuff up on so I'll be pinning up like little Polaroids and postcards and stickers and stuff there so I have that on both sides and that one's got maps on the other side too that you can see from the outside alright so yeah there's that, the flooring, um, I actually stuffed all the walls with uh, bags of insulation using uh, recycled plastic bags from grocery stores, you know I got Safeway, some Goodwill bags and just packed them with uh, insulation and um, just uh, stuffed them all into the panels, you know. It's just all a crazy configuration that I had to work around, but stuffed it in there so it'll help um, colder areas keep uh, keep the temperature a little more consistent. And uh, let's see what else did I do. Oh, I took the seat belts out that were here. I was considering just leaving them, but I took them out and it ended up being about 20 pounds of weight I cut just by taking those out. So that was pretty crazy. Um, what else? I'm going to be mounting uh, shelves up on here where the handrails used to be. These handrails I'm going to take off and I'm going to put little cabinet shelf things up there. And um, yeah, so feeling pretty good about it. Got three storage areas here. 
got um, a lot going on, so yeah, on the next video I should have a lot more advancements to show you guys. Alright, thanks.